in the previous session we learnt about grouping function which helps us in identify which is the subtotal which is the grand total and which is the actual group by row so now we'll be learning about grouping id function okay this is another function which is alternative way and more compact way to identify the subtotal rows okay in the previous session whenever we use the grouping function if there are two columns in the group by class we had to create two flags and if, if there are 10 group by columns we need to create 10 flag columns to identify which is the subtotal right instead of that if we use the grouping id function the number of group by columns doesn't matter all those columns can be given to the grouping id function to display the flag value okay the syntax is grouping id and the list of all the group by columns here i am grouping by trunk of sales date comma month which is our sales month and product name so i pass those two columns as the parameters for this grouping id function okay and now you see how the output is displayed so a flag id of zero means it is the actual subtotal which is expected out of the group by operation okay a flag id of one indicates that it is a subtotal of the sales month a flag id of two means it is a subtotal of the product name and the flag id of three means it is a grand total right yes like this using the flag id you can identify which is a subtotal of the column one which is a subtotal of the column two or it is a grand total or suppose example you have a third group by function then automatically the flag id will be three for the third column and four for the grand total right like this whenever you are sending data to a third party application using the group id function will facilitate the application read the values and understand what the subtotals are meant for okay now let's take a look at the grouping id function okay in the previous session we used the grouping function right so let me delete one of the columns okay and let me change this so instead of grouping I'll just call it as grouping underscore ID and here I'll mention product underscore name that's it simple right okay and let me run this that's it. you see flag one zero that means it is the total of the actual group by expression flag of one that means it is a subtotal of sales month one subtotal of sales month now two it's a subtotal of the product name wherever you see two in the flag one column it is subtotal of the product name and whenever you see three that is the grand total okay 